Tonight, a man is in critical condition after a fire at his home in Sylvan Park. But thanks to first responders and his neighbor, he is alive. News Channel 5's Jesse Knudsen is live in Sylvan Park for us. And Jesse, this really is a remarkable rescue. Well, that, it definitely was a remarkable rescue, Carrie. Now, the fire started just before noon off of Wyoming Avenue here in Sylvan Park. And that's when a neighbor saw smoke coming from this home and decided to come check on his neighbor. And I could hear him yelling in the back. So I just kind of knocked the door open with my shoulder and, uh, and heard him yelling, saying he's in the, the back bedroom. Now, Steven Taylor saw smoke billowing from the inside of the building, so he got down on the floor and tried to crawl under the smoke to no avail. He called 911, and police soon arrived and helped him knock out a window where the man was. Firefighters then arrived on scene, and going only by the sound of the man's voice and feeling around due to the thickness of the smoke, the firefighters made their way to the man and were able to bring him out through the window. This is why folks sign up to be a firefighter or a police officer. It's to save lives, and we couldn't be more proud of both both our police officers who helped out today and our firefighters. Now, in addition to the neighbor, Stephen Taylor, Sergeant Al Grove seen here and Officer Robert Morris of the Metro Police Department, as well as Nashville firefighters Jeff Hubler and Wayne Forrest are credited with saving the man's life. Now, at this time, the cause of the fire has not been released, but we'll be sure to bring you the latest as we get it here on News Channel 5 and NewsChannel5.com. Live in Sylvan Park, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5.